Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. We're in it. We're full on in it. Yeah, we are. Hello, I am Caitlin. I am Danielle. And we are our time of the month. Us together. Us together. It is the 12 days of Christmas. Happy holidays. And we are lipstick queens. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there, self-appointed. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole little roundup of all of our favorite winter, Christmas, holiday lip colors. Yes. And these are perfect. Some for the office, some for a date, some for a holiday party, whatever you wanna wear it for. Some for naughty and some for nice. Oh yeah, naughty-ish. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, double chin. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I rock a red lip to work even. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I do, but I'm just more conscientious about it because I can't like check it all the time. That's true. So I have to have a really good formula when I wear it to work because I can't just constantly be touching up. Okay, so why don't you show your full arm? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. It's about to get scandalous. Let's get naked. Okay. Yes. So this is my full palette. That's beautiful. Ooh, girl. Are they in the order? Do you want me to yeah. read them? Yeah, so I have them in order. Let me okay. hey. just go ahead and stand up. So the first one is Smashbox Be Legendary in Made It. Yep. Then we have Lorac in Pin Up. Still sell it. Then we have ColourPop in Fly Fi. Which I love. Another ColourPop in TGIF. Another color pop embossy. Then we've got a matte or a bite beauty, a mousse bouche liquefied lip in chutney. Yep. NARS Power Pigment, Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. Mac Diva and Mac Hang Up. Yep. So I definitely would say so. Like Chutney and American Woman are my like everyday go-to lip color. Those are the ones that I find myself putting on day after day mm -hmm. because they just work with almost everything and they're super wearable. I absolutely fucking love this NARS formula. Mm. It is, it's so thin, it dries so matte, and it's so easy to wear, very controllable. Chutney, I sometimes even top the American Woman with it because I think the colors are so similar yeah. and this definitely has like a shinier, glossier, formula so it does move a little bit more um so i wouldn't wear it on a like windy day okay when i have hair sense. flying around and sticking up so we're gonna start over here and that is the audacious lipstick by Ooh. nars i also don't have my nails painted neither do i did you point with them anyways? yeah i did okay sorry for the yucky nails <laughs> <laughs> that is the nars audacious lipstick in the shade barbara uh-huh next is the charlotte tilbury shade in bond girl Next is the Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche in the shade Marsala. Oh, we have that in Littles, don't we? Next is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil in the shade Tannin. Mm -hmm. Then is Danielle's brand new Kat Von D, I think she hit some liquefied Outlaw. lip yeah. in Outlaw. Then, oh, this color, Smashbox in the shade Vino Noir. Yep. NARS Velvet Lip Guide Glide in Unspeakable. Mm -hmm. Clinique Pop in the shade Cherry Pop. And finally, it is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Live. Yes, so while I'm here, these these are creams, the nudes. This Amuse Bouche, right? Yeah, Bite, Amuse -bouche. So that's, that's a liquid lip, but it's still not dry. Bite Beauty is a cream, this is a liquid, this is a liquid, this is a cream, and then those are also creams. So, a few different formulas. And we're gonna link all of these down below. Um, this formula for me is probably, it's one of the only ones that I wear that I would almost describe as glossy. Yes. Um, and I think because, I don't know, but it's, it's still got that sort of like thick, lipstick feel which i like so that it's not too it's not runny but it doesn't dry down so kayla and i have talked about the nars audacious lipsticks a hundred times because not only is the formula absolutely amazing mm -hmm. the packaging is so fun because Ooh. it's a magnet that damn magnet. and for 30 plus dollars it should be yeah um so this is the shade live L-I-V, not live like you're living, but they're all named after people. And then the shade that I'm wearing mm -hmm. is actually um, Barbara, which is a beautiful nude. I think this is a great nude for fall and winter because it is a little bit darker. 
um, and it wears really beautifully. It is so comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable lipsticks that I that I own, and I would continue to purchase them even though they are so pricey because I genuinely love them. Mm. That's how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually have two Smashbox formulas. This one is a bonus one. It's because uh, this is what I'm currently wearing on my mouth now. It is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Screen Queen. Screen Queen. Yeah. I've worn it before. You've yeah. probably seen it. Um, I do think, I mean, it's a very traditional lipsticky lipstick. It is. It transfers, so it's not going to be like a true matte, it, and it doesn't dry down. So it's it does transfer, but it's very comfortable. I would absolutely repurchase. I do have two liquid lipsticks, as in they're going to dry matte and they're not going to budge. Mm -hmm. And the first one, although I have not worn this shade, I have worn this formula and I really do love it, and it's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And again, this is the shade Outlaw. It is a true red. The reddest red of all the reds. Like blue toned, gonna make your teeth look really white, mm -hmm. red. And I have the shade Lolita and I also have the shade, I have another like um, pinky nude mob shade and I really love it and I wear it all the time. Um, so I think that's a really great one. And then this is a Smashbox Always On Metallic Matte and Caitlin and I have tried the traditional matte before and we did, did not, not like it. Like it. Like would not repurchase, right? No, like threw away. Threw away unused and basically. Probably, yeah, I probably tried to wear it less than 10 times and still, I think I removed it every single time. I can tell on the first application whether I love a lipstick or I hate it. Cause I know lipstick very well. Yeah. Um, but this is a metallic formula and I think the shade is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. It is metallic without being like, whoa, metallic. Right. And Caitlin wore this earlier and it looked fantastic on her. I really, really loved it. And I think what it is, is that the formula of this one mm -hmm. is more opaque. When you layer it, mm -hmm. It is not a translucent, it's not, it's, I feel like the old kind was almost like watercolor. Well, you would go over it and it would remove whatever you had previously laid down. But then also- It wasn't good. Like, almost like a Venn diagram, it would be darker yeah. over the parts that it didn't, it was just awful. This feels very thin, very creamy. Um, I will say, I don't think it, I don't think, because I did wear it earlier. It's a different formula. It doesn't dry down matte 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 okay it does end up kind of almost a little bit tacky which for me I'm okay with I'm okay with that too like it doesn't need to be sucked dry for me right I would rather have a little bit of playroom and yeah like when I push my lips together I want to be able to pull them apart and not be like and I don't want it to zap all the moisture out yeah so next obviously three color pops I still swear by this formula. Mm -hmm. Of all of the lipsticks I've bought in the world and tried for the little... money, and even sometimes, I think even if, if you put zero dollars on everything, you would these would still come out on top. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I would compare. I would say I even like ColourPop more than the Smashbox. Formula. Oh, okay. I yeah. think that it stays on better. Mm -hmm. I think this can sort of ball up a little bit. Okay. When your, you know, your lips start moving together. I just love ColourPops and I think they have the greatest shade range. They're they're super easy to apply. We've talked about it a million times. You already yeah. have. I fucking love yeah. them. But I think their colors are fantastic. And I, I think they I have all three of these reds I would wear regularly. Yeah. And you do. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And I wear bossy a lot too. Is yeah. that my bossy? No, this one's mine. Okay. Because it's Jared. This is the Bike Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil in Tannin, and I love this formula. I love the applicator because it is a twist up. Mm, um, I didn't realize that. That's nice. But I will say this formula is extremely, it wants to travel. Mm. And what I mean by that is I, every time I wear this, if I don't wear a matte lip liner underneath it, I immediately regret it because I can see it start to feather and bleed out into my like actual skin around my mouth and not just my lips. Yeah. Um, but the color is so beautiful and the formula is so comfortable that I don't mind doing that. So um, maybe look at other shades if you don't want to have to worry about a lip liner, 
but we both have a bunch of these pencils. Oh, I no. have. I have three. I have one. Oh, okay. I have three. So I, I obviously like it enough to keep buying it, but mm -hmm. um, this color just can be a little tricky if you're not. Well, I think careful. reds in general oh, they're are, terrifying. are harder to wear. There's, they're not very forgiving, mm -hmm. um, but with really good formulas, it makes it so much easier. It's worth it. Yeah. I just don't want to put a red on right now. Like, okay. I a little change. Okay, you can do that while I'm... Yeah. And then the next two, these are technically Danielle's, but I am probably one of the biggest fans of a deep berry lip. Uh-huh. I got a lot of lip, and I love wearing <laughs> things to emphasize that. I got a lot of lip. Because I tend not to do a lot with eye makeup because my glasses. Um, and so I think I can work, I can rock a dark, dark, sort of purple berry wine color. And I love this MAC, the MAC formula. I think these are both, this, no, I guess. So Diva is a matte, and then yeah. cre uh, Hang Up is a cream sheen. They're slightly different formula-wise, but not so different that you couldn't, I don't think, I couldn't say that I think one is, you know, definitely better than the other. I think they're both good. Cream sheen, obviously, like it says, it's got a little bit more sheen to it. It's got a silkier texture, whereas Diva will be a little bit more powdery. Um, I have multiple colors, multiple shades in these formulas, and I love them. And, you know, the, the traditional MAC bullet applicator can't really go wrong. Mm -mm. Although the only thing that I don't like about that is that they all look exactly the same and so when they're floating around in my purse or in my makeup drawer i have to like open every single one up to see what it is oh yeah look at it i know you have to work quickly though uh-huh but for like just whacking it on for the first time oh it's all it's already dry yeah i definitely got on my teeth so while she was talking to you about lipsticks. I put on the Outlaw Kat Von D and you gotta work quick and you gotta be really good and really steady and just do it and trust yourself and go because once it's on, it's on. I mean, it's a great color mm -hmm. and it almost looks like they're like tat. I mean, they almost look tattooed on, which considering she's a tattoo artist. When I smile, it looks great because it really makes your teeth look white. Yeah, no, I think it's a great color. It's it stinks that the, the formula is a little tricky. Eh, you know, for just whacking it on, it could be worse. I would it's say not the best lip application I've ever done, but it's certainly not the worst I've ever done. I would say if you are new to lipstick, start with something else. But guess what? You ain't gonna get it on anyone or anything. Why did you just drink that like that? To show that it's it was like them. extra weird though. It was like like how they draw a baby sucking on a baby bottle. Okay. That's how <laughs> Trisha drinks things. It makes me want to throw up. Well, that's because she's got so much lip filler in it. Her she wouldn't be able to drink anything if she kept her lips together. Did your top lip go over drinks? Cause mine goes in it. My, I think mine sits like on it on the rim. Where's like this? Yeah, I think. Mhm. Mm it just looks like a Betty Boop cartoon or something. Anyways. The beautiful part of this is that it's transfer proof. Okay, let me just drink it like normal. Yeah. You kind of go over it, uh, but it's like, you have lipstick on your teeth. I only had one sort of glossy item, and that was the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. You guys know I love the shade Bound, but this is unspeakable. This is, again, a little bit tricky because, you know, it's a cream, it's like a glossy, creamy lipstick, and if you're not careful and cognizant about what your mouth is doing, next thing you know, you got unspeakable all over your fucking cheek. I finally learned to be very cognizant of what my mouth is doing. <laughs> I have learned the hard way. Okay, well, so I don't know what you're talking about. keep track of my mouth. So that's a nice one, but again, I would probably wear it in, an, in a setting where if you get lipstick on my sweatshirt, I'm going to flip out. Oh my god, I wasn't even near I it! I'm kidding, I saw your mouth. Now it feels like you're getting close to it! <laughs> now I'm really glad that I didn't get the white sweatshirt because I would be a total freak like you. Yeah. I have another creamy lipstick here and this is the Clinique Pop formula. I don't think people talk about these enough. You don't think they talk about them I at all? I don't think they talk about them at all. I never hear anybody ever mention them. I love them. I have four shades. I wear them all the time. They're wonderful. They're super creamy. 
Um, I think they do have a matte version, but I never buy that one. I just always buy the regular old pop line. One of them was in your favorites, like a pinky one. Mm -hmm. Nude pop. Nude pop, and I have like mm -hmm. that much left. It's gonna be in an empties. Um, but this is like a really nice, beautiful, true red color, and it's very comfortable to wear. That's all I have to say about that. Lastly, when I first started buying high-end lipstick, one of the first brands that I ended up buying, which is so random, and I don't even really know how I picked it, was the Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. So they have actually, they revamped their packaging, didn't they? Mm hmm But I own at least five shades. Thank and God. this is in the shade Pin Up. Um, and I just think, as far as matte lipsticks go, I think it's like just a trusty, old, dependable formula. It's not overly drying. I would say it dry, It turns into like a powder finish. I agree with that. So you, there's, you can still rub your lips together, but they feel really smooth, but not dry. Smooth. And I will say, I don't really think the lipstick budges that. It's not gonna smear across your face, mm -hmm. but it will leave, it will transfer on glasses and on humans. <laughs> and puppies. I've learned that the hard way. I got so much lipstick on my nephew's face yesterday, I felt awful. Really? It was chutney. Yeah, that's why. Because because oh. mm -hmm. all of a sudden I'm just like, what's all over his face? And I'm like, oh, that's me. My last one lastly, is one of our favorites. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution. Oh, it, does, it doesn't even say that, but I know it is. In the shade Bond Girl. And this is a really nice dark nude for... Was it nude or is it mauve? I think it's mauve. It's not nude. I I guess. It's got a pur too I think much they, purple in it to be They nude. describe it as a dark nude on the internets. On the internet? The internet's never lies. And you know everything on the it internet. It is true. Um, but it is so nice. It is such an easy formula to work with. Feels great on the lips. Wears really well. I feel fancy when I put it on. Yes. And to me that like says something like, you bring out your old retro experience too. is luxurious from start to finish. Agreed. And it smells nice. Agreed. I love them. That's it, that's it, that's it. So this was a whole big video of what's on your mouth. What's on my mouth? Because you will be seeing all of these things on our mouths all season long. All season long. I never hesitate to ask us. We'll always tell you what we're wearing as long as we remember. Oops. Sure will. I would, yep. I would never be like, sorry, that's my signature lipstick, which I already know is bound. <laughs> that's my signature lipstick. I can't share that. I can't share it. That's gonna, TM. Go, with, that's gonna go with me to the grave. Trademarked. I mean, it's to, until we start wearing our own uh, tester line that we haven't re released to the public yet, then we won't tell you. What? Mm-hmm. When we start making our lipsticks and we're wearing the- Oh my god, now that rumor is gonna go around. They're making lipstick! We are making lipstick! I'm telling you, we're making fucking lipstick. Yeah. It's gonna happen. If there's anything we're making, it's lipstick and condoms. <gasps> lipstick and lube. Lipstick and lube! <laughs> anyway, so that's it. What are what are your go-to formulas, your go-to colors? Yeah. Are you a red lip person? Are you a nude winter person? We'd like to know. Purple? Mm -hmm. Black? What are we Green? Miss? Oh, green. I wish I could rock a green lip. Me too. And not look like an amphibian. Also, if you're curious about our shirts, they're from Aerie. How fun are these? Yeah. And I just I just still really enjoy it. I mean, obviously I'm the naughty one. Right, but, but that's what makes sense is that I'm naughty-ish. And then I'm nice. -ish. And you're naughty, so you're nice-ish. <laughs> You know? Sometimes, maybe. That's why if I'm you're lucky. Caitlin's headband is from Michaels, as are my earrings. And your, where's your sparkly bow from? Target? Oh, this is really old. It, this could be like Claire's circa 2005. Mm, nice. Yeah. Same that's, with this. That's where most of my Christmas earrings were from, except I've lost them all. Ooh, bummer. I used to have a full like selection, and now these are the only pair I could find. Bummer. I'm really sad about it. But don't you worry, because we have a whole like eight more weeks of Christmas. So, if you didn't know, we are doing the 12 days of Christmas. This is just one of those days. Yes, it so, is. So, if you haven't watched the last video, watch the last video. If you haven't watched the next video, you watch go them. watch it. Because we'll see you tomorrow. And then we'll watch all the videos. That is right. Like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. If you have any video requests, let us know. We are still making some for the season. Yes, we are. And, you know, we're going to keep doing this after the holidays, so... Oh gosh, we could always use your help. Honestly, after the holidays, we're probably gonna be so burnt out on making content that we gonna need your help. We need you to do the heavy lifting and then yes. we will see it through. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.